All right, so tonight I'm filming something here, cooking something here, what I call easy Walmart tacos. I say that because aside from the, the couple of hot sauces, the few hot sauces I have here, everything can be found at Walmart. And you pretty much have to prep nothing yourself for the most part here. The only thing you have to do any prep with is the tortilla. Um, so I bought a pack of tortilla lamb tortillas. Now I got these from Costco in this giant pack. And they're like burrito size if I'm being honest with you. So I should probably call this easy Walmart burritos. But the point is they sell these at Walmart, I believe, in a smaller tortilla size. I believe. The very least, I've, I've heard they have these at Walmart. These are great. They're raw tortillas, they're not cooked. You have to cook them, but they taste way better than like the mission flour tortillas or whatnot. So I'm not gonna show you doing it, but all you do is you take a nonstick skillet, pop this in there for I think 30 seconds on each side. 30 seconds, flip, 30 seconds, perfect. So we'll be doing that. I've also got some frozen chicken Chicken breast, chicken fajitas. Obviously, if you want to be resourceful and probably get better tasting stuff, cook your own. Um, but tonight, we're doing these. On that same note, shred your own lettuce. I've got shredded iceberg lettuce. They sell it. Um, honestly, I had this all delivered. I didn't pick it out. There's a ton of wilted lettuce in there. It doesn't look great, but it's going to give me some crunch for the tacos. We're going to use that. Uh, Walmart has mild and hot pico de gallos you can get. So, you want that, that's good, tasty stuff. I got their Great Value Walmart brand taco blend cheese. Some daisy sour cream. And then a dollop of daisy will do ya, all right? Three hot sauces, I've got my truff, truffle hot sauce, I've got some Pex Peppers Taco Fuego I've been digging lately. And another one I've been using a bit lately is this El Pato Jalapeno Sauce. So, I'm gonna make some tacos, try those. Uh, first things first, I need to heat up these chicken fajitas. They give you a few different instructions on there how to do it. You can sizzle them in the skillet, which they recommend. You can put them in the microwave, air fryer. I'm going for easy right now. So I'm just gonna throw these in the microwave. So let's pop them open, see what they look like. If I can even figure that out. Do I have to cut it? Does it reseal? Is it easy open? No. Can I just like tear it? I guess not. The bag has foiled me. Well, good thing I got these guys. Problem solved. All right, so I'm gonna put these on a dish. These are pretty big. These are not gonna be great for what we're doing. Let me show you, they're also kind of ugly, kind of stinky. Um, <laughs> like I said, make your own. Don't do what I'm doing. But check it out. That's what they look like. So these are gonna go in the microwave, covered up for a minute. So let me go do that. All right, while those are cooking, I'm gonna pop open these tortillas. Uh, you pop open the external bag, which I thought was resealable, but I was wrong. And you got these. Comes in two different packs. I thought there was an easy tear. Yep. Get rid of the little do not eat, keep dry things. I'm gonna take, I don't know, I'm probably making three burritos worth here. Microwave's done. One, two, three. 
I'm gonna go get my pan heated up. Like I said, 30 seconds each side, good to go. These guys are 140 calories each. Okay, I'm gonna go heat those up, pull the chicken out, and we'll keep going. All right, I'm gonna level with you. I cooked these up and they're kind of nasty, slimy looking. So I'm gonna go throw them in the pan and give them a little bit of color. Like I said, I wasn't gonna do. All right, so see, these go into the pan raw. Um, then after about 30 seconds, you're supposed to give them a flip. And depending on your heat, they may or may not actually be all the way cooked. Oops. Try not to film while you do it. You'll kind of screw up. Say there's some color. Admittedly, there's some crumbs from where I just uh, sauteed up the chicken there. Fried it up, however you want to say that. We'll give it another 30 seconds, and uh, this thing's going to be ready to come out. Okay, guys, I've got the hot tortillas here. Let's see what we can do with one. So clean plate. I've got this chicken that looks a bit better now. Still kind of, kind of meh, kind of the worst chicken I've ever cooked or handled. I don't recommend that. Um, I guess going into it, I knew it was going to be kind of crappy. Costco has a good, like, refrigerated little chicken strip brand. Might be the way to go. All right, that's enough of that. That's enough chicken. Uh, rinse my hand off there. Okay, next we are going to put on the cheese because everything's still kind of warm. That's gonna let it melt a little bit. Maybe, probably not. Maybe not, doesn't really matter. Sprinkle some cheese on. You don't need a ton. If I'm being honest with you, given everything else we're putting on, you really don't need any. But it is what it is. We've got that. Next, I'm gonna sauce it up for this one. I'm going to start with my Taco Fuego Pex Peppers. Uh, they rate this a 3.5 out of 10 on the heat scale. Nothing crazy, pretty flavorful. Kinda of say the same about these other two I've got here. Just flavorful, not super hot. And put that on. You know, one of my viewers, longtime viewers, he, uh, he can't handle heat a lot, but he still likes the trough. So it's got a kick, but it's not too much. These are all kind of in the same vein of heat. So we've got some sauce on there. Next, we are going to do, oh, I don't know. Let's do the shredded iceberg lettuce. I don't know if there's a wrong way or a right way at this point to do it. And get some of that on there. Say I got my greens today. <laughs> it's something. All right, we've got that. I'm gonna go sour cream next. Got my Daisy squeeze sour cream. That's the way to do it. And I guess I'm gonna be honest with you, this is the only taco I'm gonna show you. So I don't know why I busted out all three of these sauces, but I'm making three of these and these are the other two I'm gonna use. They're all pretty good. Um, last but certainly not least, we're putting on the pico. Oops. Got a whole bunch of it. So I'm going pretty liberal with it. And you can do whatever you want. And voila, that's a taco or a burrito or whatever I fold this up into. It's pretty huge. Uh, let's give it a shot. All right, so kind of a pain to eat when they're this big, if I'm being honest with you. But uh, let's give it a shot. Let me show you up close. Oops, well, at least a little closer. Full of goodies. Should be pretty tasty. If you pan fry that chicken, it's not so bad. Hmm. It kind of has a little flavor on its own too. Kind of smokiness. Pretty good. Um, 
all in all, that took me what, 10 minutes? Not even. Um, 15 minutes? I'm spitting over here like a child. Don't talk with food in your mouth. Nobody likes that. It's gross. Even on camera. Um, pretty good. And like I said, everything came from Walmart except the hot sauces. They've got other hot sauces. You can buy whatever there. And the tortillas didn't, but they could have. So go give it a shot. Super easy to make. These tortillas make all the difference. Delicious. Cheap. Kind of healthy-ish. Put whatever you want on there. Good stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.